So this is my shed and I have a lot of grass seed here. This was actually a full brand new bag of grass seed. So the roof rats were coming in and I didn't have a problem because they would leave as soon as I would open up the doors of the shed. I remember the day that I saw that they tore right through my seed bag and I was pissed. So I first tried a more humane option and I found these traps. Unfortunately, uh, I believe that these were too small, but there was one large rat and one small one that could have fit in here. Anyways, I left it out here for like two weeks and I followed the instructions. I saw other people's YouTube videos. It did not work. So the next thing I tried was this type of a clamp, type of a trap. The only thing I caught was actually my own hand, because I accidentally <laughs> I set it off on my hand, but uh, it, it wasn't that bad. I first put some peanut butter in there inside of the, the little food area here, and there's a little pocket at the bottom or a little twist off uh, cap, and you can put different foods in there. So I tried the peanut butter for like a week and a half, two weeks. I wasn't getting anything. And then I saw some lady that said, oh, Nutella, you know, my rats uh, really worked out with Nutella with the same type of trap. And that failed on me too. So next, I looked into some rodenticide. I live in California, so we have some laws against some of these. So I tried to purchase one on Amazon, which the seller said, sorry, we cannot ship to your location. So I found this one here, and this one was on Amazon, but luckily they shipped it. <laughs> so. And this is the only thing that worked. So finally, got rid of these uh, roof rats. So if uh, the other methods aren't working for you, um, go ahead and try this. Just keep in mind that when the animal dies, if it is in your attic, you will have a stench in your attic that's going to seep down into your house. And that will last probably one to two weeks.